Ed Perkins has a question about project management, file management. I do 20 to 40 projects a month. Do you have any helpful file management techniques? Ask Ed Perkins. Well, as far as video projects, actually let me give you a couple of quick tips here. Here's kind of the way I lay this out. So I've created a directory right here. It's called New Video Project, right? And if I open this up, you'll notice that it has subdirectories in it. And these go along the lines of my workflow. So you don't just create a video. A video is created by going through a workflow. First you plan, then you prepare, then you record, then you edit, then you produce, and then you share. Okay? So there's steps and stuff that goes with each of those parts of the workflow process. So to keep my new video project organized, one of the things I do is I make sure that, okay, well, here I know all of my planning documents are going to be, my script. If I have a storyboard or, or a mind map, that's where it's going to be, okay? And then when I go in and I start executing that plan, I probably make some video recordings. And those will either be camera video, screen capture video, and or PowerPoint videos. So all of those source files go into here, which happens to be the next part of the workflow process. And if I created slides for PowerPoint, I put them in here. Any project-specific graphics go in here. I always record my audio first. It's in here. Okay? But here's the secret sauce is that every video project I do is like this. It's just like this. And the reason it's just like this is because when I start a new project, I will take this directory with its subdirectories that I've already created, and I will copy it to a new folder. Okay, so let me see what I have here for folders. Okay, so let's, I'll just drop it into the projects directory here. But I'm not going to drag and drop it because that would move it. This is my master. Instead of moving it, I will right-click and then copy. So now, if I go to this directory, I should have a new video project with all the folders right here. And then all I have to do is rename the top folder. Uh, I don't know. Webinar secrets. Whatever project I happen to be working on. Okay, so now I have a top-level folder with the project. And inside of that, I have all of the stuffins that I need. When you make a video, there's a lot of stuff in there, right? You know, you have your CamRec files. Well, let's just go back to Camtasia for a second. You got your CamRecs. You got your camera video. You got your little doodads here. And, you know, look at my clip bin. I got all this stuff here. What I want to do is just be able to go right to where I saved that PowerPoint video or where I saved my camera video or my Camtasia recorder video, and boom, import it, okay? And it's always going to be there. It's going to be right in here, right, for this project. And that's just kind of the scoop. When I record my audio on Audacity and I need to import it into my project, it's right here. So there will be a lot of stuff, and a mistake that a lot of people make is they just kind of put it all maybe in one folder. And, oh, gosh, that just gets to be kind of messy and stuff. And the other tip I'll give you there is I am not afraid to customize this. You know, this is my kind of template, but it's not absolute stone. If I need something else, I'm going to make a directory and stay organized. Okay, if I find I have a lot of something, maybe for this particular project I have three or four revisions. Maybe I create a directory for each revision. I don't know. Whatever makes sense. Planning and organizing is really a personal preference as to what makes sense to you. Don't try to force yourself into somebody else's box because you won't use it. It won't make sense to you. And that's just crazy. <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs>